Hi ladies. Um, I've told you that Tyler, oh this is Tyler, most of you know, this is my husband. This is my better half right here. Um, we've been talking about doing more trainings together. So this is a goal that we have. We feel like it's very beneficial. I know for me personally, my business wouldn't be where it is if I didn't have the help of this cute guy. So I'm going to just turn the time over to him and let him talk a little bit about um, how to get the spouse involved. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah. I'm actually super excited to do this training and uh, uh, I want to provide real value because the truth is uh, having spouses involved is is hugely important. Not that it's totally necessary, but it's hugely important. It's been it's been really good for us to be able to do this together and, and it's been uh, good for our marriage it's been bonding for us which is really cool and uh, and so I want to talk about those things so I'm actually going to address two things in this video uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to talk to the spouse of the distributor so uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk mostly to husbands seeing this is a hugely female dominated distributor <laughs> business uh, but after that, then I want to talk to the distributors and I want to, I want to give some pointers and some tips of how you can get your spouses involved because we come across that all the time yep. mm -hmm. because I'm super involved uh, and, and that's fairly visible, I think, and, and uh, we get that all the time. How do I get my husband involved? How do I get my spouse involved? I want, I want their help. They're, you know, they don't support me, da, and on and on and on. We get that all the time. So I'm going to give you some tips and pointers of, of how to do that. So two things. Husbands, first let's talk. Uh, your wife just joined an MLM, which yeah. which is uh, is is a huge question mark to be honest, right? And uh, and one of the big concerns going through your head is is this going to be is this going to be a waste of money or is it going to be worth it? That's that's really what it comes down to for the husbands as they go, is this worth it or not? Yeah. And uh, and and I think that the wives have that same question, oh, yeah. but oh, yeah. we do too. but they're excited about it, right? And the husbands are like. Eh, my wife's excited about it, right? And uh, and so I want to talk for just a minute because we get the question all the time: mm -hmm. um, Is it legitimate? <laughs> is it a legitimate business? Is this and, a real business? Right? Or is you this just real? Playing with makeup all day? Right. And mm -hmm. the truth is, there's a huge difference between a pyramid scheme, which is the language often used, and uh, and network marketing or direct sales or MLM, multi-level marketing, however you want to phrase it. There, there actually is a definition of a pyramid scheme. And so I want to address that first. Is this a pyramid scheme and, and should I be super concerned as a husband? Uh, you shouldn't and let me tell you why. No, you should not be. The biggest thing, and I hope my whiteboard's not too big, but... Yeah, here, I'll hold it. I'll be your, I'll be your Vanna. Be, be, I don't know the other guy's name. I was going to say, be, be Vanna to my whatever <laughs> and, and tip it like this so that our ring light... There, Sorry, I just pushed my wife out. That's okay. No it, one wants a, a lot of a pyramid scheme comes down to the compensation plan. There's a lot of network marketing companies out there that charge a massive fee for you to become a distributor. In fact, there's some of them that I'm familiar with and that, uh, that have to do with real estate investing and things that are as much as $10,000 just for you to buy into the opportunity. And what that $10,000 goes to do is pay the upline their commissions. And so that's a huge red flag, the difference between a legit direct sales compensation plan and organization versus something that could be labeled as a pyramid scheme. Uh, a pyramid scheme is a house of cards, which means that from the beginning, the compensation structure doesn't allow for the organization to grow. It's known as internal consumption. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but it means that from the get-go, they're going to make a little bit of money and then they're going to bleed out until, until everything falls apart. And it typically happens when that fee goes to paying the commissions of the uplines. And so if you've got a $600 fee to become a distributor, and $50 goes to the guy that signed you up, and $100 goes to the person who signed him up, and $150 above that, and $200 above that, and then what's left over goes to administrative costs, right? All of the customer support, and getting your account set up, and- So that's all a pyramid scheme. That's a pyramid scheme, okay. right? What happens is, just by signing somebody up, you're getting paid, right? You're making a commission from that. All they've done is they've paid in one time with a distributor fee, they've bought into the opportunity, and then what happens, is that money just gets dispersed through the fields. Now the downside is, excuse, excuse me, through the levels. The downside is, is you get far, down far enough and that distributor fee isn't enough to cover the cost. This is where internal consumption comes in. Is pretty soon, there's no way based on the compensation plan for, for the business to continue to grow because of how it's paid out. 
And so that's a major red flag right there. Internal consumption happens when the, when the money that's paid in by a distributor to buy into the opportunity is, uh, is distributed out to zero before any money ever makes it back to the company. And that means that the company can never put money back into the business and eventually it falls apart. A few people at the top will have made a whole bunch of money and there's a lot of people who, especially people who've paid this amount to buy into the opportunity, never see a dime back because the organization fails. Uh, and, and that's a pyramid scheme, right? No bueno. Now if you look over here, in Senegence, which I purposely did in blue, not only am I a, an awesome Senna spouse, but I'm Senna freaking committed, and that's why it's in blue, Oh, and blue, you're wearing right? blue today. I didn't even that realize that. That was coincidence. That. The yes. shirt is coincidence. I did a blue marker on purpose. But the only way you make money as a distributor in Senegence is based on performance, is based on your downline actually purchasing product. That's the only way you make money. So the $55 that your wife paid to become a distributor didn't go and pay a bunch of commissions to, the, to, to her upline. It simply went to the administrative cost. $55 hardly goes anywhere. In fact, they send you a kit at the beginning mm -hmm. with, with a book and some motivational things and DVD yep. and things like that. That's what that $55 is going to cover as well as I'm sure employ um, Senna support, right? To have a customer support department that distributors could call into. That's probably also covered uh, administratively by that, that yeah. sign up cost. And so there's a massive difference between a direct sales organization that sells a legitimate product or service and company X that I have over here that is, that is technically a pyramid scheme by definition. Which is illegal. Pyramid schemes. Yes, I mean a, a lot of them end up uh, after they fail. A lot of them end up going to going to legis or excuse me to uh, uh, litigation. Excuse me, uh, and and it goes to court. A lot of it does. There's lots of lawsuits involved. But um, it, let's let's address that right up front, husbands. Did your wife join a uh, a pyramid scheme? No, absolutely. She or excuse absolutely me, absolutely not. not. Absolutely no. not. She did not. Absolutely right? not. Absolutely. <laughs> right? She joined a direct sales organization that is based on performance. The compensation package is totally based on the performance of your downline. When yeah. you sign somebody up, you don't make a dime off of those people, right? Until they begin purchasing product. Yes. Right? Until there's actual, and that's how you avoid internal consumption, consumption as a direct sales organization, is by having a compensation package that doesn't drive the, the business into the ground. Uh, and so let's get that out of the way. Your wife joined a legitimate organization that's been around uh, 18 years now, 1999, 1999. right? Do uh, it, yeah, do the math. It's been around a long time. And there should be some comfort in that. If there's not, that's okay. We're gonna talk about a couple other things here. Um, if you want more information about internal consumption, there's a really good case study that was done by one of the writers of the Harvard Business Review. Um, it's, uh, it's called, I, I don't know if you, if you go to Harvard Thanks. business review and, and Google, um, internal cons consumption, direct sales, uh, the, the author of that Victoria Crittenden, uh, it's a really good article that talks a little bit more about, uh, about internal consumption and pyramid schemes versus direct sales. It's really good. Uh, I think there's actually a fee to, to read it, but it's, it's worth it. Um, so let's talk for just a little bit. That's a good segue into the commission structure because it is solely based on sales. And that's the biggest thing that husbands are going to be wanting to know is how is my wife going to make money from this? Because we as a couple are going to be f investing money into this. We're going to be forking money over. <laughs> Hi, Tia. And, uh, and, and uh, husbands want to make sure that there's going to be something, as, as well as wives, yes. want to make sure that there's something, something coming back, back from that. Mm -hmm. So how do you make money? Uh, there's two ways to make money. You either are going to do that on your personal sales, which we rocked in the beginning. Yeah. We crushed it in the beginning. Jen has, Jen's been in the business less than a year, just a little less than a year, and yeah, we, we have sixty thousand dollars in personal sales. I don't even know what we're. At. I don't even know what we're at. He anymore. keeps track of that. I don't it's, do that part. It's, uh, <laughs> if we're not at sixty, we're really, really close to sixty thousand dollars in personal sales. Now. Um, because we're always buying product at a 50% discount because our, our t almost always our, our orders are placed uh, to buy enough product to get it at a 50% discount. When you include in our packaging and our things because we ship out directly to our customers, it means that our profit margin is about a 41% profit margin. So $60,000, awesome. yeah, which is really awesome. Yeah. You take $60,000 and you look at a 41% profit margin of that and that's pretty good. We've made over 20 grand just in the personal sales. Uh, now, 
Can I interrupt you real quick? Yep. I'm blind, apparently. The doctors say my eyes are fine, but they're wrong. So anytime I'm like squinting like this, I'm trying to read your comments. So you're like, why does she always do that? I just can't see because I'm blind. But um, yeah, Jessica, you're lucky that your husband is so on board. That's, so awesome that's, how, that. that's how I got her to marry me. Is, 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 <laughs> is I, picked a, I picked a blind girl <laughs> and, and said, oh yeah, I'm totally good looking. Yeah, you want to marry me. <laughs> So, yes, you are. So not everybody, and just to, to be really candid, not everybody's going to do sixty thousand dollars in sales in their in their um, in their first month or in their first year. Um, some people may never do that in their first few years because they're focusing hugely on recruiting, which is totally fine. Which is totally yeah. fine too. We we looked at it and and uh, and we looked at the profit margin and we went let's let's hit the ground running with personal sales and we crushed it with sales. And it took us a while before we realized that the real money is in the recruiting and the, and, and building a team, which is which is where again the second place you're going to make money. Can is... I interrupt real quick? So sales are important. Sorry, I'm go I'm going to interrupt real quick. Sales are super important, but it is so important to focus on your team. And I wish that in the beginning I would have. I was stupid and didn't. I was doing so well with sales. I didn't even look at the compensation plan with how awesome recru recruiting would be and how much more money you make recruiting. So if I could go back, I would do both. I wouldn't just focus on sales. I would focus on both. But that's how your wife is going to make money. She's either going to sell, and hopefully she's doing that because she's got to buy product every month. I see her. But in addition to that, um, oh your God. wife is going to go out and recruit a team. She's going to go out and find other people who want to be distributors, who want to sell LipSense and the other mm -hmm. Senegens products. And, uh, and, and when they sign up underneath her, they pay that $55 to become a distributor, which your wife won't see a dime of that. But then when they begin to place orders for actual product, your wife is going to see... Uh, some money that comes from that. There's a commission and then there's a, a group sales volume bonus. So it's broken down two ways and I'm not going to get into that in detail. But another video. Another, another video. Yeah. But uh, but that's how your wife is going to make money. It's, it's going to be based on, um, on, on either her selling the actual product, which she's going to do through social media, through home parties, through boutique, boutiques and salons. She's going to wear her stripes on her hand and people are going to are going to ask her in the grocery store. I, I don't know how many sales we've got from people that yeah. saw your stripes and are like, I'm sorry, do you have a disease on your hand? I mean, people <laughs> ask me like, that. Like, and Not she, with the words, she's, but she's with like, yes, draw. She's perfectly drawn lines. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's called lip sense, right? Do you want this disease? Right? I'll give it to you. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so she's going to get personal sales a lot of way, uh, a lot of different ways, but then she's going to make money by signing people up as well. Now, one of the really cool things about the compensation plan with Senegens is you don't have to sign up X amount of people who perform at X level before you begin making commissions. I do love that. You'll sign up, your, your wife will sign up one person and assuming they both place the orders and meet the criteria, then, then your wife will make the commission that she's earned on that one single distributor. And so you begin making money right away. And that was one of the things that, that was amazing for yeah. us is we liked that. We liked that. We liked that, that, we didn't have to get to a certain level. It, 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 to us, it felt like the company was saying, we trust our distributors and we believe enough in our product that we're gonna pay them when they perform. I, so I'm a director of sales for a software development company and I feel the same way about paying my sales reps is if they sell it, I will pay them on it. There's no weird criteria that they have to meet. There's no weird delay in commissions. If they, if they sell it, then I will pay them on it. And Cenogens has that, that, same, that same philosophy is if, if your distributors do the work, then we'll make sure that you get paid on it. And they're awesome about that. They are. They are really good about that. And, and the compensation uh, plan, I, I think you mentioned, compared to anything else, it, it will blow your mind. Like if you have any questions, pull up some of the top other direct sales companies and compare the two compensation plans side by side. Senegens will blow it out of the water. Like you name it, any company, Senegens will blow it out of the water. It's absolutely true. So um, that's how your wife's going to make money. Right? And those are the things that most husbands want to know right away. Yeah. Is this legit? Am I going to get scammed? And how are we going to make our money back? And so uh, if you have other questions about these things, please put them in the comments below. We will be happy to answer them. We've done our research and we feel like we, 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 feel like we know our stuff a little bit. We've done our and, research. Uh, and, and so if we're not addressing something that you want us to address, please go into that. Uh, now, husbands, there's a couple other things here that I want to, that I want to talk about. This is a little, I'm going to get a little bit deeper here in the next few things. Are you sharing um, any awkward personal stories? That happens more than you would think. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> That's frightening. Um, your wife got into this because she, she believes that she can do it, right? 
Um, I think for most of you, some of you may have convinced your wives to go out and do it because you believe that. Uh, that hey, let's that she answer can make questions real quick. Okay, so Tia says, "What if your husband is bothered by the fact that I make money? That I make money off of girls?" Welcome to sales. I, I mean, my salespeople make a commission off of our clients. Your real estate agent makes a commission off of your home, and your 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 doctor makes a fee off of your surgery. I mean. That's that's what makes the, the world, world go around, around right? Is is, uh, is is you, you've you've signed them up. That's the way that a, a direct sales organization is organized, right? If you look at direct sales, even um, and and direct sales of any kind. Look at Keller Williams Realty, for example, which is the largest residential real estate brokerage in the nation uh, in terms of the number of agents. They are a direct sales organization. They pay seven levels deep on recruiting for other real estate, real estate agents. Yeah. So it's it, the, the, and, and the way it's okay to make money off those other agents is because you've done the work to bring those agents into the organization. Yes. So Jen makes money off of other girls who are buying product at a great, at a great discount with great profit margins. But because she did the work to bring them into the organization, she gets a little taste of everything that they do. Yeah. And then everything that those girls do, Jen gets even a little smaller taste. And then yeah. so on and so down the down the line, well, right? Sierra's comment right here, here, CEOs make money off of the employees working. Exactly. Right. Or you make money off of doing hair or, you know, whatever. Everybody's making money off of somebody else. So, um, that's, that's business. If your husband doesn't like that, uh, yeah, that's going to be a hard one to overcome for your husband. But if you look at it that per, from that perspective, um, your your wife did the work to bring that other woman into the into the organization. Her compensation for doing that, rather than just focusing on sales, for her to split her focus and split her time and not sell products so that she can recruit people, that's her compensation for it. She gets paid because those people were brought into the organization, and that's the way that the organization says thank you. So um, hopefully, Sierra says, what does your husband do for money? You'd be surprised. And she coaches, and Jessica, and she coaches them. Well, I missed Com that comment. Comments are going too yeah. fast. We'll have to come back. Jessica said something important. So, but, but let me get down to this. Is, is uh, a lot of you husbands... Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, Tia says, okay, so my husband just said what is bothering him most is that my friend's bill obligated to buy my product. He doesn't like that his wife is that girl. All right, I can I can be on board with that. Yeah. I I can understand that um, network marketing has a reputation, um, and not always a, the best. Not, yeah, not always a good one. Right? I, I, right? I mean, used car sales guys. It's a plaid suit with like suede elbow patches, right? And they they come out and they're like, "What are you looking for?" Right? <laughs> every 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 industry's got a got a That's reputation. Creepy. Right and and uh, network marketing MLM certainly has that right because as soon as somebody joins an MLM, all of their Facebook posts change from here's pictures of my kids to look at my makeup that I'm selling right. Yeah, yeah that's that's true. Now, um, hopefully, hopefully the wives find a happy balance between normal <laughs> and obsessive. Be normal, right? Hopefully, there's a happy line that's found there. Uh, but the truth is, if if you're worried that your wife is that girl, um, I would take I would take a really good look at at what makes your wife happy. I would take a really good look at the joy that your wife gets from it. If your wife hates it, yeah, then maybe it's not for you guys. If your wife hates being that girl, uh, then then yeah, that might be a problem. But if your wife is enjoying it, I'm gonna uh, jump in. Learn. Get over it. <laughs> um, first of all, I love dentists, so that's awesome that your husband's a dentist. Um, if you had something truly amazing, wouldn't you want to share it with everyone? Somebody said that at the training today. So they talked about how much, so it's seven of the um, higher rank girls in the company and how much they were making combined, because again, we're not supposed to share like what our, each, what our personal checks are, but they talked about, they said um, one month, all seven of them combined made like $350,000. Like they passed the calculator down and talked about that. And one of the girls was saying like, she's like, if you had something so amazing, wouldn't you want to share it? Like when I find something awesome, I want to share it with other people. And that's one thing I don't ever want my team to be is a pushy salesperson. I hate, I do not do well with pushy salespeople. Like somebody tries to ask Tyler, they try to force me to do something. I'm like, mm -mm, done. I'm just going to run away. I'm not even going to look at you. Her doctor could be asking her medical history and she'd be like, 
No way. I'm not gonna give it. I'm to not you. that bad. <laughs> But I don't like to feel pressured into things. So that's something I, I really encourage my team is don't ever try to make somebody feel obligated. And I think you girls are, are doing a fantastic job at that. You're going to have to read comments because I can't talk and I read can't at keep the same up. time. They're, they're, they're coming too fast. <laughs> but more, we are sharing something that is amazing for us. And, and if you don't have your own story and it hasn't, you haven't like exploded yet or you're just at the beginning, share the amazing story of your upline. We're just sharing something that's incredible. Honestly, if I had a friend that joined this company and didn't tell me about it, let's say she was making $300 a month or she was making $3,000 or some of these girls that are up on stage that are making $30,000 a month. I've seen their checks. It's true. It's a real thing. I've seen a $30,000 check of, a, of one of my upline girls. It's a friend of mine. Um, if my friend didn't tell me about that, I would be mad. Like honestly, like as she's like rolling in the dough and everything and she didn't tell it, she told me like a year or two later, I'd be like, how rude are you that you wouldn't tell me about something that awesome? So I kind of had a point where in the beginning I was a little bit hesitant because again, I didn't want to be that girl in the beginning. I'm like, oh, I don't want to like pressure people. And then I had that light bulb moment where I'm like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is something that's so amazing. I would be a jerk if I didn't share it with people. So that's all, I'm, I'm jumping off that now. Let's see, Melanie says, Tia, yes, it's just commissions. I haven't, we, we read can't, we haven't keep, we can't keep we can't up. We'll, keep come up. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and answer your questions. So let, let, me, let me address uh, the husbands a little bit further here. Um, there's gonna be sacrifice that you have to make. That, that's just the reality of it. Your wife is taking on something that that doesn't replace other responsibilities and things that she's going to do. If your wife is a homemaker or if she has another career, this isn't going to replace any of that, at least not right away. And it means that she's taking on more. Yeah. And, and that means that it's going to require a little bit more of you. And sometimes like that's, some, so, sometimes mm -hmm. that's hard, but at the same time, if you were going to go take on a new job opportunity that required more time or open your own firm or practice or Training. start your own company or you were going to go away and, and, uh, and, and go on a cattle drive for two weeks with your buddies, right? Which is like a bucket list of mine, by the way. FYI, okay, um, good to know. Right, whatever it is that, that you're going to go do, you would ask your wife to make a sacrifice. And your wife might not be coming to you and saying, hey, I need you to help a little bit more. I need you to... to, to help me find an equilibrium here because now between the two of us we have this new responsibility she might not be saying those words but that's what has to happen and uh, and and the simplest thing the best thing that you can do is just support her in that and uh, it'll be hard and, and it was hard for me in the beginning yeah. because we had to find a balance we had to find an equilibrium and it took us a little bit to get there and now that we're there it's totally awesome and I wouldn't go back to the way that it was before but understand that there's going to be some sacrifice that you have to make in order for your wife to do this. And, uh, and it means that you're going to have to support your wife in doing that. You're going to have to get in there and do that. You'll find a balance. Um, let's talk to the wives a little bit. I, I, I wanted to do this in like 20 minutes, but we're already we're I think at like 30 now. Us, yeah. But I want to provide some good value. So let me talk to the, to, to the distributors uh, because, because there's... Um, <laughs> Uh, that's actually pretty, that's, these that's, days. That's a, that's a so lazy. Comment. So I, I want to talk to the distributors because again, one of the things that we come across a lot is, you know, my my husband or my significant other doesn't support me. How do I get them involved? Uh, it, you know, they're they're discouraging me or they're giving me ultimatums and da 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 da. How do I how do I overcome that? Um, likewise, understand that you're as asking your husband to make some sacrifice. You're asking. Uh, you're asking him to fulfill some of the responsibilities and roles that maybe you're currently fulfilling so that you can take on LibSense. If you're a homemaker, I'm going to use that example because up until now, Jen has, Jen has been a stay-at-home mom uh, and, uh, and has not worked. Uh, uh, she's been a mom. And um, it's been amazing. But that meant for me as a husband means that uh, my, my meals were always prepared. It meant that my house was always clean. It meant that I had. Well, you had it good. I know. It meant that I had, had a never-ending underwear drawer because <laughs> mad laundry magically like went from the dirty hamper back to my shelves, Just right? Appears on the table and, magically. And uh, and it, that was the role that 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 we had. That was that was the process that we had in our house. And then, and then she took on lip sense, and and I came home, and and I was like, whoa my underwear drawer has a bottom to it. <laughs> like, like 
like it's wood and there's nothing there. I, what am I going to put on, right? Or, or I remember one time, and, and we actually fought about this, but I came home and she said, hey, can you help me with dinner real quick? And, 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 I, and I was already in a bad mood, but I got mad that like dinner wasn't prepared. We had to find this equilibrium. I'm sorry, that was totally a, a jerk yes, move of me. Yes, that was. Um, but we had to find that equilibrium. So, so distributors, understand that you're asking some things of your husband. Uh, and ultimately, there's, there's three things that your husband really needs. There's really only three things. He needs food. He, he wants to know that, that, that you and your family are financially taken care of. And the third thing is he needs love and attention, <laughs> right? And, uh, and that can mean many things. Use your imagination. Many things. We talked right? about that at Pit Stop. Like the motivational speaker who was awesome and amazing talked about the needs of your husband. And if you fulfill those needs, he's going to be a happy camper. I, we're not just talking about physical needs, but love and attention. And, and one thing that Jen and I have learned in the past little while is that love is attention. That they're, that they're, they're one and the same thing. And where your attention goes, that's where your love is going. And everybody gets super excited about a new opportunity and 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 it, 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 jen comes home from a training she's been to three this week right two three three yeah jen's two. done two. well three okay. three lip sense things night. Yeah. and a girl's night three lip sense and she comes home every night like totally amped and totally on fire uh, and and i love that i love that she comes home but what's awesome is she comes home and there's a time at the end of every night where she puts her phone away, where we shut off Facebook Messenger, we shut off our YouTube channel, we shut off everything, and, and our attention goes to one another. Yeah. It means that I know that my wife still loves me, right? And in that moment... More than I love Senegents. More than she loves a lot. Senegents, mm -hmm. right? So understand that your husband still needs those things. If your role is, is a homemaker, if your husband is used to having three meals a day prepared for him, Understand that you might not be able to just stop making three meals a day without creating some contention in the home, right? There has to be an equilibrium and both of you are going to have to make sacrifices. So understand that first off is your husband's not going to be starry eyed for this new opportunity for you to go out and spend money with no guarantee of it coming back and, uh, and, 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 and just support you and say, yep, go honey, go, right? He's not gonna do that without some reassurance. There's gonna be some trepidation and some hesitation. So understand that there has to be a balance found and you need to make sure that you understand that as much as he does. Yeah. And as, as much as you wanna drive, 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 build your business, understand that every once in a while, you gotta put it in park and, and, and show love and attention where it needs to go, which is frankly more important than your business yeah. and, and focus your on, family on your, is more your important family. than your business. Um, and so that's the first thing is to getting your husbands on board is making sure that, that they understand that the sacrifice that they're making still is appreciated, that they are still appreciated. Weirdly, men are like macho, but hugely insecure. We just, we just want to know that our yeah. wife loves us and that we feel needed and that we feel appreciated for that need, which is, which is totally insecure, but uh, that's that's what it is. We want to feel that we're needed by our wives, um, and uh, and and so let us feel the appreciation. Jen's awesome at doing that. Jen Jen takes care of me, and uh, and makes me feel happy, and makes You're me feel like wife. I'm involved. She really is. I'm bad at she so really many is. things, so many things, but I'm a good wife. <laughs> She's good at almost everything she does. Um, here's another thing uh, for you distributors is there's a time that will come when your business gets hard. And it might be for a day, it might be for a week. For us, it was, it was the, the high demand, low supply <laughs> time, right? And it was a little stressful. Now, I have to say that Jen maintained an awesome disposition through all of that. And, and when people on her team, both up and below her, were griping about out of stock, out of stock, she was like, man up and get through it, right? With more tact than Some, that, something right? Something like that, but, yeah. but she was awesome. She maintained a positive attitude, but there were days when, when we would get discouraged, when she would get discouraged. And um, understand that in those moments, in those times, it's okay to go to your spouse and be like, man, this new opportunity that I jumped into, it's really hard today. I, I didn't expect it to be that way. Um, can, I, can I jump in real quick? 
I think you need it. You're like, yes, fine. Sure. You can. All the time. <laughs> yes, you'll allow it. Um, see, it's, it's good for marriage. You learn things about each We're other. We're going to go make out after this. <laughs> it's us. See, love and attention. Um, now you made me lose my train of thought. Dang you. It's gone. It's gone. What were, what were we talking about? I lost my train of thought, too. I was, I was saying something about oh, love and attention. I thought I of what know. it was. Yeah, I remember. Um, no, it's gone again. Stop. This is ridiculous. Oh, here's what I was talking about. I was talking about when, when Jen gets down, oh, when I you as a distributor now. get down, uh, because there are going to be days that are harder than others, right? Not every day is going to be awesome and training and motivation and burning in your bosom because you love what you do, right? Like uh, some days are just going to be flat out hard. Yeah. And uh, going to your to your spouse right, in those know. moments <laughs> isn't, isn't going to make your spouse feel like more worried about this this opportunity that you've jumped into um, keep the lines of communication open good and bad share the good things but share share the share the discouragement as well yeah. because ultimately what your what your spouse wants is your spouse wants to see you doing something he wants to see that you jumped into this and then that you that, that you're making progress that you're doing things that you're that you're learning how to use Facebook from a business perspective and that you're creating a YouTube channel and that you're recording videos and and obviously still creating balance in your whole life and finding equilibrium but he wants to make sure that that there's progress right because because he doesn't want you to fail as much as you don't but that means that sometimes you got to make sure that your husband can see both the good and the bad because if it's only good it comes across as totally fake yeah. If it's only bad, it's super discouraging. So keep the lines of communication open between you and your spouse about your business, both good and bad, because that'll make your spouse feel like, hey, there's something happening, right? I think show them when you're excited. Like, I love coming home from a training or signing someone up or when when I get a message from one of you and you're like, I just signed someone up or I just had a party, it was awesome or whatever it was. I love going to Tyler and telling him what's happening in my business, in our business. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. I realize this is our business. This isn't my business. This is our business. So I go to him and I'm like, this girl did this. This happened. I'm so excited. It's getting him because you have all the, all that excitement and all that passion and, and you're on the Facebook pages and you're interacting so much more than he is. No matter how involved he is, it will be different for us as distributors because we are more involved, especially as women, we're a lot more involved, especially with each other. So as to, to let him see the excitement. Again, I think it's good to come like when you're feeling down, talk to him about it, but really let him see your excitement, your drive, your passion. And we had a conversation, I think it was yesterday, and I was like, why do you love me? Like, honestly, like, I'm curious, like, tell me some of the things. And one of the top things he said is because you're driven. That was and the first I, thing I said. That was the first thing he said. And he said, I, I see it in your business. Driven is hot. Oh yeah. See, driven is hot. Tell your husbands. And I'm sure he'll agree. Like driven is hot, but, um, we, we get off on tangents. <laughs> Crazy. But, um, show him those good qualities in you and he will appreciate that. He will appreciate that you're working hard and that you're driven and that you're excited about it. Um, absolutely. Share the good and the bad. Keep the lines of communication open. This is what it, Tia says, what if your husband feels this business is superficial? Example, I am an RN and he feels like that's such a more purposeful job. I hope that makes sense. Oh, totally does. And I love Nurse RNs. saving yes. lives, lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah, that totally makes sense, right? Um, I'm gonna jump in. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know how to answer that one other than to other than to say different strokes for different folks. Other pe different things make different people happy, and and while makeup isn't my thing personally, um, it, it makes my wife happy, and it makes billions of women happy around the world, right? So. You, you can't look and say, wow, that's superficial because it's, it's a trillion dollar industry when you look at the worldwide e economy for, for beauty products. So Sadie today touched on this and she said it in one of her other videos, like she was in, um, she was doing a training and there was this girl that was kind of like pestering her, which is, a, it's hard to imagine somebody pestering Sadie. But the girl was like, well, I don't understand this and why this? And Sadie said she was like, getting upset inside, like trying to explain everything. And finally, the girl had this moment, like like the aha. Sadie said something about um, how much potential money there was in the business. And then the girl like broke down eventually and told her like, I've been trying to have a baby for a long time and I haven't, we've had to quit our treatments because we couldn't afford it. So her why 
was to make enough money to be able to afford the treatments to have a baby. And so you think of any of these women, we all have a reason why we're doing this. And I'm not saying money is the main, is the main thing that, that should make us driven, but for that girl, she needed the money to have a family. And this is a way that, you know what, maybe we're not, maybe I'm not a brain surgeon, or maybe I'm not doing this or doing that, but we are providing an opportunity for so many women in every walk of life, anybody could do this, to provide them with an opportunity for them to make the kind of money that they need to help other people. So that has been a huge why for me, as I have found a sense of fulfillment in this, that I am helping other women find happiness and find that fulfillment and find unity and sisterhood and joy and the money to do things, just like that woman who couldn't afford to have a baby. And if you've ever been baby hungry, that's the worst thing ever, is to not be able to have a baby. Or if you have medical expenses and you cannot pay, if you have a child that is needing therapy or needing this or that and you can't pay for that, that's a horrible feeling. We're giving somebody, many people, the opportunity to be able to make the kind of money for what they need. Maybe it's for gas that month. Maybe you know it's something so simple like you can't go see your mom who lives you know, in the next state. And we're, we're helping them with that opportunity to get there. So I, I think it is, it's building dreams and it's building hope and it's having, I'm all like, ah, having she's those like, feelings. Like and I'm up. like passionate about this. I like truly am passionate about this to be able to provide somebody with an opportunity that maybe they didn't have before. Like I've talked to so many girls that have had postpartum depression or who have been, who work full time and they can just never get ahead. But this has provided them with the way that they can do that, to take the stress off. For us, it's taken a huge stress off our marriage. That, isn't that like the number one thing that couples fight about is money? Uh -huh. I feel, uh, yeah, I feel like yeah. I read that somewhere, is money. To be able to take that burden off, to even to just not fight about finances, is something like so huge and so important. So, so maybe it is not like the ultimate, I guess it depends on how you look at it. But to me, like in a way you are, I don't want to say you're saving lives, you're helping somebody's soul. If there's somebody who's sitting at home, who's lonely and who's depressed, and they suddenly join this sisterhood, you're saving them. If there's somebody who can't afford groceries, you're saving them. If there's somebody who's having marital difficulties and they need money for therapy, you're saving them. So I guess it's just about perspective, how you look at it. Yeah, I, I would say this is, uh, even for us, and, uh, and we've been able to do things for our family. And we, we don't need to go into detail and we could do another video about that. But we've been able to do things for our own family, for our children, that we couldn't have done if Senegence wasn't a part of our life. So if somebody wants to look at that and say that us providing for our children is superficial, I'd say, man, I, I feel really bad that you think that way because, because this has been such a blessing for our family. Uh, and for, for, the, for the hundreds of girls that are on Jen's team. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some people might say that makeup is superficial. I say, I would do anything for my family. If I lost my job right now, I'd go to McDonald's and flip burgers, and in six months I'd be running that restaurant because I'd be the best dang burger flipper there is. Or you'd just join Senegence. Or I'd just yeah. have to join Senegence. But my point is, is, mm -hmm. is any of us would do anything for what's most important to us. And this and, is a way to do that. And this is a way for for people to do that. Especially it's, it's, people that work full time who don't want to get a night job or moms who stay at home or people who have to have a flexible schedule for yeah. whatever reason. Okay, let's talk about uh, the next thing that you can do to help your husband get involved. Or jumping in the next thing apparently. Stay <laughs> in a progressive state of mind. Yeah. And here's what I mean by that is, is when Jen was looking at the opportunity she was going to sign up to be a distributor for the for the discount, and and I was all for that. I was like fifty five bucks, yeah. right? That's how much one little thing of makeup costs anyway. So, uh, but when we started looking at the opportunity, she kept going. I need to learn. I need to learn. I need to learn. And I kept. And, and once I was sold on the opportunity, I went quit quit preparing to do, do business. It. Just get in and do it, right? Yeah. Which is important. And hopefully you've done that as a distributor. You've gotten in. But what you need to do is is to show your husband that you're committed to this. Again, showing him the things that you're doing. You want to, excuse me, you want to continue to learn. And one of the things that Jen did in the beginning and, and continues to do, but this was like a very proactive thought, was once a day, I'm gonna do something to grow my business, and once a day, I'm gonna do something to learn about my business, to learn about the product, yeah. or the company, or the opportunity, or the commission structure, or whatever, take your pick. And, and because of that, 
people come to Jen with questions that that people in their uplines who have been in the company much longer, they, they come to her for the questions and answers because these other people don't know because Jen has taken time to learn that. Now, we don't know everything about the business, yeah. right? And the business constantly learning. changes. But we spend a, well, I should say Jen spends a serious amount of time doing trainings and watching upline videos and learning. And, uh, and, and she's gone to seminar or pit stop and she'll be at leaders conference and uh, she, you know, she, she spent all day at Ascentages training today. She was at one two days ago and I mean, she's taking the time to learn about her business. And as you do that, it shows your husband that you're committed enough and it will give, it will give him a little bit of faith and a little bit of hope to know that, wow, she's really in this. She really wants to make this happen. Uh, that the education is a, is an important thing. So continue to educate yourself. You don't have to know everything to get into it. Think of it this way. Uh, if you're starting to learn to play the piano, nobody expects your first performance to be Carnegie Hall. Right? Nobody expects that. We expect you to sit in your homeroom and plink out, twinkle, twinkle, little star, and, and, and that's how you get started. So you don't have to know everything about the business. You just have to have a why Right? And maybe your why changes, ours has changed. changed, but you have to have a why, I want to learn the piano, and then you got to be willing to sit down and, and learn where the notes go and how to move your fingers. Right, uh, And so it's, it's the exact same in your business. You don't have to know everything to get involved, but once you're involved, continue to learn every single day. We don't expect you to perform at Carnegie Hall on day one. We hope that you get there down the road, but nobody yep. expects that of you in the beginning. So make sure that you're doing something every single day to learn about the big the, the business. That'll make a huge difference. Um, understand that you can't force your husband to love what you do. You, you, there's 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 no way to, to force him into supporting in your business. But you keep progressively by, going further back. So you realize that yes, we're getting lazy as the night right. goes on. Um, you can't force him to 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 be involved. Uh, but by showing him that you're continuing to do things over and over and over, you're doing the little things daily. Our dog is knocking on the window, if you can hear that. I think we're ignoring her. I think it's, she's going, it's bedtime. I want to go to bed. Uh, by showing the little things over and over and over, it'll get your husband on board. It'll get your, your husband or your significant other on board at least enough to show you a little bit of support. Another huge thing that has been big for us, and, and I was... I was mostly supportive from the beginning, and uh, I'm proud. Good job, I know. Good job. Good job. But um, one of the things that's made a big difference for me is Jen comes to me and asks for my advice a lot. Now Jen is um, driven. That's one reason I love her. But she's also highly intelligent, and so she doesn't need my advice. But for her to come to me and say, "Hey, what do you think about this?" Uh, is 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 something that helps me feel involved. An easy thing that you can do to help your husband feel involved is simply go ask advice. Ask advice, hey, I'm trying to figure out how to run my books, right? Do you think I should use QuickBooks or Excel, right? Uh, or if, even if, something as simple as, can you help me package orders? You know, it could be something super yeah, simple. which is, that's my job, right? Is, is when we get orders from our Senna site, I book it into an Excel spreadsheet and I package everything. We and, divide everything and, up because and, his responsibility is I have mine. Yeah, if you, if you email Jen, there's a good chance that it's me replying, not actually Jen, so... It sounds a little masculine. <laughs> That's why. Um, so, or just have him, do, just it. Have him yes. do it, right? So, ask him for advice. And there are some things where I think I think Jen comes to me, and she really doesn't care what advice I give. She'll go with it to make me feel good. Like she'll come and be like, "What lip color should I wear today?" Right? She comes and asks for that advice, and I and, and I and I go through the list of things, and I look at her outfit, and I go, "I don't know. I think I'd like to see something super red." She doesn't really care, right? But that makes me feel involved, right? It makes me feel involved um, and, uh, and helps me feel part of the business. Now, lip color, that's, kind of, that's maybe a stretch for that analogy. But she does that a lot. She'll come and say, hey, do you like this video or this video? Or did this picture or this, this picture? Or should I say this or that in the post? Or I'm thinking about this incentive or that in incentive. What do you think? Uh, and, and she'll ask my advice on her business. Guys love to give advice, right? We love yes. to be in the know. And, uh, and there's nothing that makes us feel better than, than having somebody come and stroking our ego a little bit and saying, hey, what do you think, right? That's an easy way to get your husband involved is, is to just go and ask for some advice every once in a while. 
Again, it's one of those things that will show him that you're working the business. It'll show him that you're spending time working on the business, not just not just busy working in it, but that you're working on it. You're working on growing and building and progressing. Water. And that's uh, that's a, a huge, huge thing that will make a big difference. It's made a big difference for me, and it should make a big difference as you as you get your husband involved that way. Uh, here's what it comes down to: you can't force your husband to to be involved in your business, but you can invite him, and you can encourage him, and you can persuade him, and uh, and and you can you can even bribe him a little bit. And uh, I know there's been a few times where I've been bribed when, when she's like, it's like one in the morning, she's like, and I'm like, Jen, I gotta go to bed. I gotta get up at like six to go to where, work. Where, or, where's this or, going? Where's this yeah. going? And, uh, and, and she, goes, she goes, come on, let's just get this post done and, and, and I'll make sure that it's worth your while. And usually I'll that's rub a, your feet. Usually that's a meal. Yes. Oh right. yeah. I'll, I'll make we'll, you meatloaf. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do yes. steak tomorrow. I don't know if you've ever made meatloaf. No, I've never ever made meatloaf. It's no. steak or nothing. <laughs> we like our meat. Um, but she's she's bribed you with whatever. With it might be a meal. It, it might be a foot rub. It might be whatever. And uh, I'm a sucker for a foot rub. And so we're if, very uh, persuasive. Women can be very persuasive. Use your womanly powers to be persuasive. <laughs> I'm talking Remember. about steak, cooking steak. That's what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm thinking about, though, and neither are any of them. Oh, and man. Not now. Um, you can invite, you can persuade, you can encourage, you can even bribe your husband to be involved, but just know that he's not going to be involved right away. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some validation. You're going to have to validate the decision for him. You're going to have to get him on board, and, uh, and, and it might just be a little at a time. But before long... As long as as long as he's continuing to have food, money, and love and attention, right? And you find an equilibrium to be able to do that, and and your business, uh, assuming there's some success that comes, and you continue to do that, Cook, and, cooking the steak is yes, the kind. cooking the steak, and you will find success if you do the things that that are on this page that your upline is telling you to do. You will find success. It'll come. Yeah, it'll come. We've, it's, we've seen $30,000 checks and we've seen $3,000 checks. And ours is somewhere in the middle there, pretty consistently. We're, our, I mean, and, and uh, it, it, the truth is there is amazing opportunity. There is amazing money. And that means that you can do so many other things in your life that you want to do. And, uh, I mean, I, I flat out want to quit my job soon and just be sent a husband, right? And, I, and, and work lip sense full time with my wife. Which is and, a thing. As I talked to girls today at the training, a lot of them were saying, yeah, my husband comes to every training. He wants to be involved. And again, not everybody's husbands. It's Every relationship is a little bit different. But a lot of these ladies said, oh, yeah, my husband does all the packaging. My husband does all the emails. My husband comes to all the events. That's just their lifestyle. They had to get to that point because it wasn't like that. All of them said that. It's, it wasn't that way necessarily from the get-go. But they got to that point, especially once their husband saw the vision. So your job, I think, is to help him see that vision. Me saying that I want to quit my job, I, you have to understand that I love what I do. I love my job. And you're good at it. And I'm good at it. And, uh, and, and I've had offers from other organizations and I get recruited from other organizations to come work for them a lot. He's kind of a big and, deal. And uh, many leather bound books. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> That's for you, Melanie. Hold away. Um, but for me to say that I want to quit my job and, and, and sell lipstick full time must mean that I really, really love the people that I work with and what it is that we do. And what it allows us to really accomplish, right? The our, our, why, our why is not to sell lipstick. I'm not passionate about lipstick. I've only worn it a few times, <laughs> <laughs> right? But ultimately what it comes down to is, is uh, you can get your husband on board. You can, and you will. It'll take time. Uh, for some, it may take more time than others, and that's okay too. But you know stay what? The, stay... e even if it doesn't happen, you can still do this. There's, Even if your husband doesn't ever get on board, you can still do it and you can still make it huge. There's tons of women who do. and uh, Or if I, you don't I, have a husband. I, I promise, <laughs> you start paying the mortgage every single month and he's, he's going he's gonna to he perk up. He sings a different and, tune. He's going to perk yeah. up and start paying attention. We, we've, we've gone like three times as long as we planned to yes, with this video. I'm done, I'm done talking. Uh, yeah. We're going to go through, we'll get to all the comments. They were coming in so fast that we couldn't even respond and to them. We and we love so that, just so everybody knows. I super appreciate when you comment, so thank you. We'll, we'll try to respond and answer all of those. We're also going to take this and put it on YouTube. 
uh, and uh, and so it'll be available there on Genfin's Genfin Beauty channel. So uh, if you have other questions, let us know. We're happy to to get involved. If you, there were a lot of really good specific questions yeah, and comments, we like, love that. What about this concern that my husband has? Yes. We're going to go through, and I'm going to I'm going to respond to all of those, and uh, and we'll do a good job. We just want to go cook the steak. Go cook the steak. <laughs> Husbands need love and attention. Have we have we not discussed that? <laughs> uh, I think my face is turning red. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys are awesome, I, and and uh, and every time I get to go to a Senegens thing, it's it's fun. It's it's an amazing lifestyle. It's an amazing opportunity. It's an amazing thing that uh, that has happened for us in our life. And, and we want to share it with people. We want to share it with people. We want we want everybody who's on this video and everybody who's commenting, we want you guys to be at the next events with us. I'm going to seminar next year, and uh, and I'm super excited about that. And uh, she, she goes, but it's my girl time. It is my girl time. I want to go. <laughs> I like that motivational crap. <laughs> I want to go to that. It's pretty great. Uh, anyway, we want other, I, I want other husbands with me. So get your husbands involved. Husbands, believe in your wife. Have a little faith. And have you ever seen me happier? Have I ever been happier in my life, in my marriage? It's pretty good right now. It's pretty awesome. This is the happiest I have ever been because I found this fulfillment. And I know a lot of you are the same. And when your husband sees just how happy you are, again, there's going to be the ups and the downs. It's just like, I, I think being in a business is just like, yeah, I'm rolling with my homies. Um, is Sorry, being in a business is a lot like marriage. Like, there's the up times, there's the down times. Like, that, that's just how it is. But... It's nice to see me happy and fulfilled and excited, right? It really is. So she just asked how do husbands register? I don't even know. We just the seminar just hit know. and if you haven't registered for seminar, go do it. We're it gonna just, figure that out. Twenty eighteen just became available to register, so go do that right now. And there go isn't, hang out with Tyler. Tell there your isn't to hang an out option. Tyler. There isn't an option for a guest, but uh, we're gonna call this week and find out. You because, can do it because that's what get, yeah. all the the higher rank girls today. So Tyler came in, so we had a training, and Tyler came in after because he wanted to meet people and he wanted to be involved. So he came in, and that's what all of them were like. Are you going to seminar? Like, so it's a thing, and that's what they said. All the men hang out at seminar. So all the ladies hang out, and all the men hang out. And then that's cool the club. Yes, probably. Or a golf course. Ooh. Yeah, no. We should finish. We've been or going a race on. track. No, no. We've got to finish. Okay. Thank you. Oh, is that it? Yep. Oh, that's the end. All right. Husbands, believe in your wives. Yes. Wives, show your husbands that it's worth it. It yep. totally is. It is. All right. Thanks, ladies. Bye.